Trump's DHS secretary shocks 2.1 million illegals, Obama, Democrats go ballistic. As Democrats continue to drag their feet and play the obstruction game, it's high time for the Trump administration to play a little hardball to get things down. Department of Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly has done just that by informing members of Congress that the administration will not be bending over backwards to defend President Barack Obama's 2012 Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Amnesty Program from legal challenges. Kelly dropped that news on members of the Democrat Congressional Hispanic Caucus, and he has just a simple request for them to make sure the bill survives. In short, Kelly wants members of Congress to start playing ball on an immigration bill that makes actual sense. Conservative Tribune has the scoop. Speaking in a closed-door meeting with members of the predominantly Democrat Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Kelly informed them that if they wanted to ensure the amnesty program survived, they'd have to engage with Republicans in a bipartisan compromise immigration bill to protect the illegals legislatively. That seems like a fairly simple request, but you can be sure that blood is boiling on the left as a result of the firm's stance. That tends to happen when the temperature gets turned up to uncomfortable levels. Reaction to the news has been mixed, to say the least. This is what he's being told by different attorneys, that if it goes to court it might not survive, DHS spokesman David LePan said regarding Kelly's remarks. Should Congress not pass a bill protecting the program, they're leaving it in the hands of the courts to make a decision. That was simply too much for a visibly shaken Illinois representative Luis Gutierrez, who dramatically proclaimed in both English and Spanish of the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions is going to say, deport them. If you're going to count on Jeff Sessions to save DACA, then DACA is ended. Democrats will undoubtedly twist Kelly's simple request using their patented fear-mongering tactics. Based on recent patterns of behavior from the party, it's safe to say that they'll overplay their hand yet again. In a perfect world, the Trump administration will continue to apply pressure on Democratic leaders to actually start getting things done. As the obstructionists in Congress continue to act like petulant children, the time for playing nice is over. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.